For the last 25 years, Delta Division has operated out of Clementi Police Station. From their home along Clementi Avenue 5, Delta officers oversee the safety and security of a diverse 68 square kilometer area that stretches from Jurong East to Jalan Bukit Merah, covering some of the oldest public housing estates in Singapore and also Sentosa and Jurong Island. Before 1988, Delta Division operated out of Queenstown Police Station along Queensway. Built in 1964, the station served Delta Division well for many years, but with a changing operational landscape and increasing demands for space, a new bigger home was needed. The old station was an L-shaped two-story building, made of a charge office, lockup, armory and changing room. The uniform officers do their work at the canteen area and their restroom while the housebreaking and the motor vehicle squad officers have to share one office because of the constraint in space. Over the years, policing become more complex and citizens come to the police for more reasons. So it was good that we have a new building that could meet the need of the community and our officers. There is also no need for us to squeeze anymore. The new station was officially opened on the 3rd of July 1988 with its state-of-the-art facilities, Clementi Police Station serves as a symbol of Delta Division's commitment to continuously improve to better serve and protect the community. In May 1988, Ahwat, Singapore's most wanted man, was fatally shot in a shootout at Sunset Way. Delta Division officers, operating from the new Clementi Police Station, helped to secure the area to allow investigators to process the scene. This brought an end to a massive manhunt and helped to boost public confidence in Singapore's safety and security. After the move to Clementi Avenue 5, Clementi Police Division had a total of 14 neighbourhood police posts under her charge, with community policing being one of its key focal points. The NPP officers would patrol their neighbourhoods and build strong ties with the community. This close rapport made it easier for the police officers to gather information about crimes that had occurred in the area. The NPP system opened the doors for closer relations to be built between the police and members of public in the Delta area. It wasn't easy at the start. The first house visit to the resident could be very difficult at times. During our subsequent visits, they realised that we were there to share information on how to protect themselves from crime as well as we were there to share on the kind of services that we offered at the NPP. Clementi Police Division made history once again in 1997 by being the first land division to move over to the NPC system. Heralding a new chapter in policing, this system promised to bring the police force even closer to the community. Following the unveiling of Queenstown NPC, Bukit Merah West, Jurong East and Clementi NPCs were quickly established and began operations. Working closely with the community on a host of community activities, the NPC system helped bring community policing to the next level by fostering closer bonds. The terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001 changed lives everywhere. It was no different for Clementi Police Division. Jurong Island, which had come under Delta's jurisdiction after the completion of the land link, came into sharp focus as a potential terrorist target. Jurong Island has a lot of leading oil and petrochemical companies inside the island, and it was very clear from the start that it would present a very attractive target for terrorists. And Delta Division officers, together with the various stakeholders, actually have spent a considerable time and energy and resources to actually establish a layered defence around the island. And this is done through the SSWG platform. Pasir Panjang Wholesale Centre would come into the news after a young girl was reported missing in suspicious circumstances and would eventually be found to be murdered and her body dumped in a box on a hill. At first, it seems to be another case of missing person reported, whereby our officer will try our best in locating the girl. However, the more chat we did, the more suspicious we became. Our officer went down to Pasir Panjang Hotel Centre to conduct a thorough search at the said vicinity and also at the same time interviewed the workers who were in there. Like by then, the head investigation, Mr. Melvin Yong, our current commander, we went down to CID HQ to conduct a meeting with SIS investigators and share with them the information we had. 
our division continue to conduct search at the Pasir Panjang Hotel Centre as well as the surrounding area. We also conduct a hotline with info information received from the public. We send FRC down to the scene to conduct a search. Our officers work very hard for this case and we cover all angles. We are glad that the case was solved and brought justice to the family. Over the years, the geographical area of Clementi Police Division continued to evolve and change. One of the areas which saw many transformations over the years was Sentosa Island. In 2006, the government finalised plans to redevelop Sentosa into an integrated resort with a casino and the only Universal Studios in Southeast Asia. Presenting yet another challenge for Clementi Police Division, the officers would need to ensure the safety and security of the numerous tourists soon to crowd onto the island. With the development of Sentosa Island, it presented some challenges for Delta Division. We only um, used to need, require one vehicle to cater to the needs of Tolublanga area. Um, with new developments such as Vivo City, Centuries Power Station and the whole Harbourfront Cluster, um, additional vehicles is required to cater to the growing needs of the um, community partners and residents. Thankfully, the bonds that we built with the corporate partners and crime prevention measures that we put in place meant that the tourists and visitors can remain safe and secure despite the growth in the area. Through the years, Clementi Police Division has played its part in major national deployments with regular officers working together hand-in-hand hand with volunteers and NS men to secure the events. We work very closely with our regular counterparts and to ensure a smooth operation and success of all these deployments. We are part of a family with the regular counterparts and also as a whole as Delta Division. During my time uh, as an NS man back then, right, uh, the good thing is that the, my team, I was, if I can, I can remember correctly, I was in Team Charlie, I yeah. think. So back then, um, they entrusted me with a role similar to what the regulars are doing. So I feel that uh, with such um, uh, trust opportunity given to me, right, I feel like part of the family already. I have about, what, nine days of leave left and I told my team leader then that, um, look, I do not want to clear this because the experience that I, will, um, that I get to go through as an NS man, um, I, can only, I can only have this only once. And once I OID, that's it. I won't be able to relieve this again. Strong ties with the community have long been a cornerstone of Clementi Police Division's fight against crime. Many initiatives rolled out by Delta Division sought to foster closer bonds with the community, bringing them to come to know and trust the Delta officers. The Clementi Police Division relationship with the community actually is quite strong. Community and our residents can help in us to fight crime. It's a very good project. Uh, we niche it up and we try to bring more people who stay in the neighbourhood to come to form task force, a uh, patrolling team. Uh, this patrolling team not only cover patrolling, they are also covering as a neighbourhood watch. They can just stay at home and look out from the window or look out from the corridor to help us to secure the place. So I think also it's uh, uh, good that we're coming in to help the police. They cannot be everywhere for 24 hours, but we will come in as a partner to fill up the gap, to make the place more safety. Over the past 25 years, Clementi Police Division has scored many firsts and seen many outstanding officers pass through her doors. The many achievements of Clementi Police Division have cemented her reputation as a strong crime-fighting unit dedicated in its service to her community and her nation. This success would not have been possible without the men and women who have made fighting crime their lives work. Clementi Police Division has a long and proud history of keeping our areas safe and secure. Moving ahead, I'm excited as I look forward to the new community policing system. The introduction of the community policing unit will further boost our capacity to engage the community and the new crime strike force will help enhance our crime-fighting capabilities. The next 25 years will present its own challenges, but I firmly believe that as long as our Delta officers continue to adopt a positive attitude, work closely as a team, and build on our strong community relations, Clementi Police Division will continue to do well, as we have always done, to ensure that Singapore remains the best home for everyone. As we celebrate the 25th anniversary of Clementi Police Station, 
We thank the officers of Delta Division for their dedication and we wish Clementi Police Division success in her mission to prevent, deter and detect crime.